Okay, today we're going to start Unit 4. Unit 4 is all about inequalities, um, but for this lesson we're going to talk about inequalities and their graphs. Some examples of graphs. Okay, so the first one is x is less than 3, and I'm giving you a number line. So what you're going to do is you're going to go find x, or you're going to go find 3. Okay, at 3 we're going to put an open circle. We're going to do an open circle. And the reason we do an open circle is if you have greater than or less than, it's an open circle. If you have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it's a filled in circle. All right. So if we're talking about all x values that are less than 3, that's how you say that, less than 3, we want all values that are less than 3 but not including 3, so we have an open circle there. And then what we do is we just shade the part of the graph going in the correct direction. So that is the graph x is less than 3. So now let's look at m is greater than or equal to negative 2. Because it's a greater than or equal to, we're going to put a circle, a closed circle at negative 2. And then we want all values of m that are greater than or equal to negative 2. So greater than on the number line is to the right. Okay, another example we have is n or negative 1 is greater than or equal to n. When the number's on the left, you have to kind of read it backwards. n is less than or equal to negative 1 because the less side is facing the n. The smaller side of the inequality is facing the n. So we do n is less than or equal to negative 1. So we have a closed circle at negative 1, and then we want all values that are less than. So we do our arrow that way. These are some examples of some inequalities. Okay, let's go on to still learning how to use this on my computer. All right, so now let's scroll down here. So we're going to do some more graphs here. On these, you're going to have to draw your own number lines. That will be interesting as I use my mouse to draw this. Okay, here's our number line. We have arrows on the end of it. What I want you to do is I want you to put the one that you're, uh, the number that's in the inequality in there, and then I want you to put two numbers to the right and two numbers to the left of two. So we're going to have three, four, one, and zero. Okay, so then it's a, a greater than, so it's an open circle at two, and then we want all values of, uh, I'm going to make that a different color here. We want all values that are greater than or equal to 2, so we want to shade to the right. Okay? All right, let's look at the next one. Okay, we want to draw a number line with 4 on it. And since we have 4 on it, we're going to have 5 and 6 also on it. Okay, and then because it's less than or equal to, we're going to have a closed circle at 4. We're going to have a closed circle at 4, and then we want all values of m. You have to read this one backwards. We want all values of m greater than or equal to 4 because the mouth is facing the m, the mouth of the alligator, however you guys are used to looking at that, is towards the m. So that means we want all values greater than, so we're going to shade to the right on that one. And that is how you graph an inequality. So now let's go on to the next examples here. We're going to write an inequality from a graph. So let's do, we're going to make it basically doing backwards of what we were doing. So now we have the graph, okay. We know we have negative 3 on the graph. Negative 3 is where the open circle is, I mean closed circle, I'm sorry. And then we're just going to put a variable x or t or whatever variable you want to use. And then we have to fill in our inequality symbol. We want all x values that are less than or equal to negative 3. And it's less than or equal to because it is a closed circle. Had it been an open circle, we would have just said x is less than negative 3. But because it's a closed circle, we say x is less than or equal to negative 3. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, let's look at these last two here. Alright, so right here we've got 
2 is the number, so we're going to put our boundary number and we're going to put our x, all right? And if you look at this, it's an open circle, so we're not going to have an or equal to. And we want all values of x that are less than 2, so we just do x is less than 2. All right, on the last one, we still have 2 as our boundary there. We also call it a boundary, and it is a closed circle on 2. And we want all values of x that are greater than or equal to 2, so we do greater than or equal to. And that is how you write an inequality from a graph. So that's just the basics of solving an inequality. Or not solving, I'm sorry. That's the basics of the inequalities. We will next time learn how to solve inequalities. Thank you for listening.